deformed domestic heights. So I'm going to show you how to make a rolled paper flower template within Cricut Design Space. And it's actually really simple. Um, and the only complicated part here is you need a spiral base, in which I have that for free in my resource library. So I'm just going to pull that up and upload it into my canvas first. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, after you upload your spiral base, is you want to create a petal. And the most simple and basic petal, of course, is the circle petal, which is the easiest to attach because, um, because there's no, uh, you don't have to rotate it at all when you're welding it to the base spiral. Um, you can also do a number of other things. You can, you can, um, and obviously unlock it and create a, a longer petal. You can also take a heart shaped, uh, unlock the proportions and then slice your way to, um, slice your way to a different type of, of petal, or you can scan your own uh, actual flower petals and use that as, um, as the pieces that you attach to the, to the spiral base. But uh, here I'm just going to demonstrate real quick with a um, circle one, what you do. So, so you want to take your circle and just sort of duplicate a bunch of them. You can set them apart more, you can set them apart less, and it'll create more uh, more petal curvature. Um, so that's really up to you, and you can experiment with that. But basically, you just sort of place them all around. And... Um, After you do this, um, so let's just say that you want a shorter spiral and you don't want the whole, you don't need the whole spiral. So what you can do is you can slice off part of it So I'm just going to quickly finish up with this. here. Let's just say you want to cut it off right here. So here what you would do is you take your any shape and you just slice it and move it apart. Um, this piece right here you can either you know, either contour it or you can slice it again and take it off. So after we have all of our petals in place, then you select all the petals plus the spiral base and you just weld. And there you go. So a little extra touch, I want to add a base to glue everything. So I make one more circle base and I select this and my welded loop and I weld again. And that's about it. And you can go ahead and make it.